Alright, so this is Sam here. I'm the current US Chess Champion. I'm wearing my Olympic garb right now, as you may see, but uh, I'm about to go in an extremely elaborate disguise, courtesy of our cameraman, and uh, go troll some hustlers. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm not very good. We can do that. Okay, so, good luck. Oh, we play with the... Okay, so how does this work? I... Okay. Alright, so like I can... Like that? Yes, I'll teach you a lesson. Okay, so... At the end of the game, I'll tell you exactly what you should do. Very nice play. Uh, 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 break some table. Okay. That's the second I thought that's kind of broken. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it's cool. Nice. You weren't fooling anybody with this whole schmigee, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I don't play this game very often. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't play very often either. That makes two of us. Sam what? Shanklin. <laughs> well, I knew you were strong. It's <laughs> uh, a fucking GM. <laughs> You're a champion. Alright, so our troll job wasn't as successful as I would have liked. I think people pretty quickly picked up that I could play even if they didn't know who I was. But, uh, well, it was fun anyway. Uh, maybe a more elaborate disguise. But, um, yeah, it's a good time. 
I'll now take this opportunity to shamelessly self-promote. I've got these book, this book that I wrote, Small Steps to Giant Improvement, Master Pawn Play and Chess, as well as some DVD series, Master Methods Part 1 and 2. Uh, first one is the Shanklin Method, and then Tactics and Calculation for the Ambitious Player. Uh, you can buy all these from my website, samshanklin.com. It's in the store tab, so samshanklin.com slash store. Uh, thanks, it's been a great being a guest on uh, Coffee Chess, and I'll uh, see you next time. Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And big thanks to U.S. chess champion Grandmaster Sam Shanklin for taking the time to come and play with the boys. Um, really appreciate it. I think the whole chess world appreciates it. It's a really cool opportunity. Um, and definitely check out all his DVDs and books. The link is in the video description below. And um, I think a lot of people think he has a shot at... Um, getting into the candidates and becoming a challenging magnus for the title so a potential future world champion on on the channel i think that's really really cool and um give it up for brooklyn dave too for being good sport about all this um you can um, get him a cup of coffee his uh, link is in the video description as well and i think he would really appreciate it and uh yeah i mean let's go over the game see what we can learn um <laughs> it's funny like Sam was trying to pretend to be a beginner with the uh, moving the piece with one hand and hitting the clock, and that's like like a classic sign of a, a beginner. But I think when Dave noticed that he played the carol, he's like, mm, he wasn't buying it at all. So in the future, I think if we ever get Magnus Carlsen, um, we would have to first off get him one of those Mission Impossible masks. You know, those those rubber masks that you see in the in the Mission Impossible movie, as well as the voice changer, and have him play on the first move, like throw up an A or an a or H pawn, I think, and that'll be like a good disguise, I think. But uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> Magnus, if you're listening to this, um, just something to keep in mind. But this was a classic game of one mistake and no return. And in this position, um, Dave played F4, trying to tempo the queen. But of course, we saw en passant and um, discovered check and attack on the knight so let's go move back pause the video what would have been another move for white here and it is simply move the king over and some ideas here for continuation might be black castles and white may try to attack on the queen side here so that was basically it and i was really curious i put this game through stockfish and man this just goes to show you like I think we can all agree that Dave is a great player, you know, but just Sam is just totally on another level. I mean, Dave might as well just played Stockfish, the computer itself, because um, here are the results. Sam playing the black pieces had 24 excellent moves, one good move, zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero force move. He got the best move 85% of the time. Amazing, amazing. And um, on the flip side, Dave played really good too. He had um, 20 excellent moves, 2 good moves, 2 inaccuracies, 1 mistake, 0 blunders, and he had a best move percentage of 45%. So, whew, crazy, man. Just crazy to see the difference between um, the two. And Sam is definitely one of the, I think historically, at, at one point, top 30, I think, in the world, right? So, very, very cool. Um very very cool opportunity and uh thanks again to sam for doing this for taking the time to do this definitely check out all the stuff he has um he has books dvds i really like the title of his book too because i think that's the best way to improve at anything right small steps lead to giant improvements so um definitely check that out the link is in the video description below and um also if you want to get david coffee his paypal link is in the video description below as well and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And thanks. I'll see you guys later.